Hi, welcome back to Ask HR with Eto, your channel for authentic HR content. Hey, we get it. Networking is not at the top of everyone's to-do list. It can be time-consuming, downright awkward on occasion, and depending on your personality, it can be incredibly draining. When your calendar is already crowded with work and family engagements, the last thing you want to do is to have small talk with a stranger at some cocktail event. But there's no telling, as we have already shared in a previous video, the importance of networking. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three ideas and the mindset to sustain to help your networking efforts. Tip number one, start networking before you ever need to. You know the situation where you desperately need something and will do anything it takes to get it well? People can smell desperation miles away. Sometimes you can even give yourself away in a networking situation just by the fear in your eyes. Networking without any ulterior motive gives you off as a generous person than as a person who is there to just serve your interest. Now, all the nervousness, the fear, and the awkwardness can be taken away from that conversation when you walk in there, knowing that you have value to offer. So always step into a networking situation, sustaining this mindset that I have as much value to offer to the other person as much as I may be expecting something from him or her. Tip number two, ever heard of the five piece? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Preparation precedes success in any venture, and it's the same for networking. A good rule of thumb is to prepare yourself before venturing into any networking um, event. You are at an advantage if you are aware of this networking event beforehand. So you find out which people are attending this event. Find out what you can about them their interest so that you'll be able to start your conversation around those interests and what information you found out about them not forgetting that you also have something to offer it's not just about what you're getting but what you also have to get someone may ask okay what about i just have to network in the spare of the moment i didn't have the opportunity to prepare well what i can say is always have a page prepared about you who you are, what experience you've gathered, what your values and your interests are, and what you can offer to a person. You know what they say that is the little things that matter. So that brings me to my third point. You always have to follow through, follow through and follow up. So you went for this networking event, you spent all your time gathering business cards and all of that. And at the end of the day, you never reach out to any of them. The goal of networking is to develop and build long lasting relationships. If you promised you were going to reach out to someone, try and do so. If you said, oh, I'm going to connect you to this person, make sure you follow through on it. People are really busy with their lives. And so if you make a promise and go ahead to deliver on it, you really leave a lasting impression on people and people begin to take you seriously. So there you have it. Start networking before you ever need to. Always follow through and follow up and always walk into your networking situations prepared. Thank you so much guys for watching today's video. I'd like you to subscribe, share, like and comment and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can receive my subsequent videos.